Good day everyone, I'm Teacher May and I'm here to teach you about science. It's science time! Happy learning! When objects start to move or to stop, force is exerted. What is a force? A force is a push or a pull that starts, stop, or changes the direction of an object. The action of a force can cause an object to change in the size and shape, and a stationary object to move, moving object to change its speed, and moving object to change its direction. A force gives energy to objects setting them in motion. Today's topic is all about friction. Friction is a force that acts against or resists motion between two objects in contact. Friction acts in the direction opposite to the motion of an object. Friction either stops objects from, be, from moving rather or it slows objects down. There is friction when the surface of object, objects roll, slide, or rub against the surface. A smooth surface has less friction that can speed up the motion of an object. A rough surface has greater friction and slows down the motion of an, of an object. There is more friction if two surfaces surfaces are forced against each other. We have here the two types of friction. We have sliding friction and rolling friction. Sliding friction is the amount of a for, of force, force needed to start an object move. When sliding friction is acting, another force must be, pre must be present to keep an object moving. While rolling friction is the force needed to keep an object moving or rolling. Rolling friction prevents the motion of an object rolling along a surface. Friction is both an advantage and disadvantage. We cannot walk, run, or play without having friction. It is much easier to slide on something smooth, like ice, than on a rough surface. This is because rough surfaces create more friction than smooth ones, and friction slows things down. If there is no friction, it would make motion very difficult to control. However, too much friction becomes disadvantage and causes harm. It causes machines or other things to wear out like your shoes, slippers, and even tires of cars. It makes work harder because more force is needed to finish the work. Friction may also heat up machines and slows down or stops motions. We have here the different ways in decreasing and increasing friction. Friction may be decreased or minimized when it is harmful through the following. First, lubricants like oil, grease, and wax reduce friction between two surfaces. Water and soap can be applied on the surfaces where they can directly contact with each other. Wheels, rollers, or ball bearings can also be used in heavy furniture so they can be moved easily. Friction may be increased when it is useful. First, friction may be increased by making the surface rough. Rubber slippers and safety shoes are made with rubber soles with, with grooves to increase friction between the soles and the floor. This is done for safety reasons, like preventing one to stumble, slide, or fall. 
Tires have dreads to increase friction while traveling, especially over wet surfaces. Friction prevents them from slipping on the road, which can lead to accident. In the life, there are positive and negative forces that can cause people to move or act. We should be wise in our decision when to apply forces or not. There are times there is, a, there is friction in our relationship with one another. If this happens, we must find a solution so that our, our relationship becomes smooth and better. So that's all. That's all for now. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and God bless.